Hello everyone, welcome back to Catalyst. So in this video we are going to see how to use the design software Catia V5. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please do click on the right button that is showing at the bottom right corner of the video. So without any delay, let us start the video. Here I have created a base feature that is with the help of wall. I have created a simple base feature here that is rectangular feature. That is in this video I am going to show how to use the cutouts options. The first command today I am going to teach you is that is cutout options. Cutout option is usually done for in order to get a empty space. So let us go for sketch. I will be selecting this as my face. So here I will be drawing a simple profile. And exit from the sketch. Here I'll be going for cutout options. So under cutout options, I'll be selecting my sketch. And here you can see if I give a preview, then your cutout will be created like this. So this is about cutout options. So what if if you want a cutout for the half of the material? Say for example, the thickness is 3 mm. If you want to cut out a material for half, that is 1.5 depth. So what to do at that time? So let us see here and a type. It is uh, showing as a sheet metal standard. Here I will be selecting it as sheet metal pocket. Then now you can specify your depth. See that is I will be giving it as 1.5. Then now you can see half of the material will be removed like this. So this is how you will be using cutout options. The next we are having is the whole feature. Whole feature is as same as your part design environment also. Let us go for whole. Click on the surface where you want to create a hole and also here you will be going for positioning sketch. Under positioning sketch you will be constraining the distance for this point. So wherever this point is placed at that point the hole will be created. Say I will be giving the distance from this end I will be giving it as 50 and also from the other end I will be giving it as 50. I'll exit from the sketch and now you can see at this point that is from 50 from both the ends there will be a hole created here. The same way you will be having here also counter bore hole, counter sunk hole, counter drill hole, simple hole and here also you will be specifying your hole parameters and you will be giving it as ok. Your hole will be created and we have one more feature that is called as cutout option circular cutout option sorry so how to use this circular cutout option circular cutout option is nothing but it is used at a bends so let me create a simple bend here first so like this i have created a simple bend so in order to cut out material at this bend feature you will be going for a circular cutout that's all here you cannot create a hole successfully for that you will be having a cutout feature so let us go for circular cutout and select a point where you want to create your circular cutout. Say I will be clicking on this end. Here you can see the diameter will be specifying here. Say I will be giving it as 25. And go for preview. So like this you will be creating your circular cutout. Give it as ok. Your cutout will be created at that point. The next we are having is corner option that is corner relief. So before that we will see how to use fillet and then chamfer options. So fillet and then chamfer options as same as your part design environment here also you will be using in the same manner. Go for fillet that is corner option. Here you will be specifying the edges. Say this is my edge and you will be specifying your radius. I will be giving it as 30. Then now you can see you will be getting with a smooth corner. The next we are having is chamfer options. Let us go for chamfer. Here also I will be selecting the edge, say right now I will be selecting this edge and here you will be specifying your chamfer length, so I will be giving it as 35, then give it as ok, then now you can see here chamfer edge. So corner is used to get a smooth edge and chamfer is used to get a sharp edges. So this is how we will be using corner and then chamfer option. The next we are having is corner relief let us see how to use this corner relief for that i'll be creating one more bend let us go for wall 
and here I'll be adding one more wall. Give it as OK. So at this end, you will be using your corner relief. That is at the corners of your sheet metal feature, you will be using your corner relief. So let us see how to use them. So I'll reverse the direction. That is, I'll rotate it. Then go for corner relief. Here I'll be specifying my supports. Say this is my support and then this is my support. At this edge, you'll be creating your circular cutout. That is corner relief. So here type, under type, you'll be having three types. That is user profile, circular and then square. Usually we go for circular or square itself. Let us see how to create circular. If I go for circular and here I'll be specifying my radius point that is I'll be giving it as 15 now you can see at this point a circular cutout will be created that is circular relief will be produced like this if I give it as ok then now you can see a circular profile has been created at the circular profile if I select as square then the square profile will be created so if uh, instead of square that is instead of circle we go for square then give it as ok now you can see like this you will be creating your corner relief at the end of your corners. So this is how we'll be using corner relief options. So in the upcoming videos let us see about how to use the stamp features. So this is all for now. Let's meet in our next video. Thank you.